Hi, I'm Zach Berhop, and I've got with me some parts to the extruder for the Saw Doodle Press. Now, I just took these apart so that I could get access to these bolt holes here, and they let me pull the stepper motor off and the whole extruder off. Um, I'm working through some problems with some jamming, so I wanted to understand the parts in the extruder a little bit better. So when I got it all taken apart, I realized that the whole system uses a much different mechanism than uh, used in previous generation saw doodles. So let me explain this here. So this is the tensioning block. This is the block that gives you access to the extruder. We're going to work right now with the tensioning block. So what you need to do is take this, these slots, I mean this is the front, this is the part that's going to face you and remain on the outside of the extruder. We want to take the black tensioning lever and it slides right there and it gives it a pivot point on the inside for the bearing to tension. So the next thing we want to do is we want to take one of these bolts, we go to the top screw and we insert it. Now pay attention that the back it's kind of hard to hold everything. So we're going to insert one of these bolts into the top, but pay close attention that the back has a corresponding hole in that black part. So this creates the pivot for that part to go back and forth. So once that's on, you just hold it in place, then you take this little bearing and it fits right onto this little black lever here. And that's the part that makes contact with the um, material. So then the next thing you want to do is put the spring on. So you can see right in here, there's a little line where one of these prongs of the spring sits. And actually the spring rides right on that screw. And it makes contact with that lever. So now that we got this whole mechanism, we want to um, partially install it onto the main extruder assembly. This is the part that mounts the motor. So this hole right here is the hole that threads on. And if you'll see a little slot that comes up from it, that's where the second prong on the spring fits. So basically you're holding it almost upside down and you're aligning it so that that prong from that spring spring fits right in that groove so you'll do that and what we got to do now is just tighten that screw a little bit just so it holds everything in place and with that mechanism there we want to spin and now you're putting tension on the spring while you do this you want to spin and then we want to insert that bolt. What you've got is your tensioning mechanism. So granted, this will have to be done while it's in the um, against the motor because that hole ends up getting held by that bracket. But that's the general gist of how that all goes together.